You too, the team of BTV. All right, I'm gonna give y'all a few minutes to come on in, come on in. Girl, listen, everybody, I'm trying to get myself back together from my trip. And I am just busy, busy, busy. So yesterday I originally said I was gonna do the live on my video, but I didn't do that because Amazon didn't really release no loads until maybe about uh, maybe 11.30 last night. So I said, let me just see what they got going on in a couple of cities. Hey Jody, how you doing? Um, and everybody was just saying, um, you know, just see what, what cities we got going on. See what see what it's looking like. I know Amazon is speeding up a little bit, but we'll see. We'll see, guys. We shall see. I'm gonna let a few people come in here, and then we're gonna get started because um, I'm in the office right now, and you know, my kids is in here. <laughs> I hope everybody had a good week. I want to thank everybody that has booked a consult with me. I'm telling you, again, like I said the other day, no two consults are the same. I Like you guys think I inspire you, but you guys inspire me from the standpoint that you are in building your business, um, no matter what it is, whether it's semis, box truck. Uh, I had a guy, we were talking about flatbeds the other day. I had a guy, we were talking about sprinters. Um, you know, what I don't know, I, I, you know, I won't discuss or I'll try to lead them in the right direction, but I, I get so inspired on those calls. You think you guys are calling me to get motivated. You're motivating me as well to just like keep going and do something different. And I kind of want to talk about something else that I'm thinking about doing that one of my consults um, inspired me to look into dump trucks and you know who you are, young lady. <laughs> um, wow dump trucks y'all that's all i'm gonna say and you know i can't say much about it because i don't know crap about it but i'm gonna find out <laughs> and when i found out when i find out i'm gonna tell y'all all about it y'all know i tell it i don't be holding nothing back um oh thank you tc look i love when i see that my same names on here i feel like y'all are just y'all are loyal to me <laughs> um my phone keep going off i'm sorry y'all Hey, Desiree. Hello, Pennsylvania. Listen, Desiree, I looked at um, Pittsburgh earlier today, and let me tell you, it was like 274 loads out there. What part of PA you in, um, Desiree? I hope I'm saying your name right. And remember, guys, when I go on the load board, please give me a city and a state, a city and a state. Um, if I just get a state, I'm probably not going to look it up. I want to acknowledge it, so please give me a city and a state. And we'll look at the low board in a little bit, but I kind of want to chat a little bit about um, about what you guys got going on, any questions. Um, I know everybody doesn't book the consult, but if you didn't book a consult, that's fine. It is what it is. If you want to ask me a question on here, I'll try to answer that. For okay, Poconos, all right, Stroudsburg. My brother's in Henryville. Okay, I know what Poconos is. Um so if you guys want to ask a question, maybe to um, I'll entertain that and try to give you some answers as far as that. Has anybody on here um, spoke with Nicole or um, Nicole's been telling me that she's been getting a lot of you guys locked in with the insurance. OK. All right, Mr. Quint. McAllen, Texas. Anyway, I love Texas. I love Dallas, but I just like the state of Texas. But um, she says she's been getting you guys locked in, and I'm excited about that. I love to hear when she says that. Um, that means you guys are listening. That means you guys are reaching out to her right at that perfect peak time when it's time for you guys to lock down that insurance. Um, I kind of want to know where everybody is at. So does anybody have a question um, right now at this point in time? I did get on my last video, I asked for um, ideas of what people want to talk about. A couple of people said business credit. Um, that's something, that's a service that I offer separately with my credit business that I run. But we can talk about it a little bit. Like kind of just, I want to talk about the fundability of it all. You know, people want to get funded, want their business to get funded, but they have to be fundable. And I'm going to give you about four things um, that make you traceable as far as your business and what makes that look good. All right, let's see what this, we talked to Nicole, but she doesn't, oh, I'm sorry, Tammy, she doesn't write in Arizona. I think it's about 17 states she writes in. Um, she may be adding more, I don't know, but right now, yes, it's only 17 states. I'm so sorry about that. Um, how long it take to get approved from Amazon? Really to start making deliveries for them. Um, the day you get approved and you get that 
congratulations email, you can start um, that very same day. Um, Demetrius B has talked about that. He has, he got approved the same day and he picked up a load that very same night. Y'all, my son just came in here, hold on. You don't want this? No, I don't want it. All right, babe, close the door. Y'all, it's Friday. He ready to start. <laughs> Darnell, how are you? Uh, she writes in Chicago. Does she do Illinois? I, I'm not sure. I gotta, I gotta look at her list. I know my last live when I was on there with her, I put all 17 states down. So you might want to reference back to that. That might be a state that she does. Hold on one second. I'll look for you real quick. Uh, let's see. I don't know if she does Illinois. Let me see if I can go back and look. But um, the approval process, Darnell, for Amazon is pretty quickly. I know they say, what do they say? Three to five business days. But most people get answered in um, two days, three max. I got answered the, the next day, 48 hours. All right, so Nicole only writes in the following states. Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, Tennessee, Maryland, Ohio, Indiana, Missouri, Texas, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Arkansas. So no, Darnell, she does not write in Illinois. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, so there's an advantage of dealing with the independent insurance. Yes, there is. Um, yep, there is. There's a lot of independent agents. I feel like it's an advantage on AW18 because um, you build more of a personal business relationship with that person. And, you know, when you're in business, you always want to have that personal business relationship. So, and you know, your agent gets to know you. She gets to know the things that you like um, as far as, you know, adding on a vehicle, removing a vehicle, replacing a vehicle on your insurance. I feel like it's more personable. So I really like that. So, yes, um, having an agent is a lot of advantages to that instead of just calling progressive and getting a different agent every time. But um, nothing against Progressive. I like them as well. I actually have them for my personal vehicle um, for now. But other than that, yes, I don't really have a problem with Progressive. Where do you go to put the application in for Amazon? You have to Google Amazon Relay, Mr. Ro Roquill09. Y'all know how I am about these names. <laughs> I'm just dying to see who got the craziest name. So, yes, you have to Google Amazon Relay. But make sure uh, your insurance is and all your filings have been done for the FMCSA and make sure your authority is active before you do that. So make sure you follow the steps and don't jump the gun, sir. Uh, can I still make money without Amazon loans? Of course, of course. Yeah. Oh, wow, you're close as Amazon is four hours away. Where are you, Mr. Quint? Mr. or Mrs. Quint, I'm not really sure if it's a man or female, I'm sorry, in advance. <laughs> um, uh, yes, Darnell, that is true. So, uh, Nicole stated that when we did our live a few weeks ago, that um, you're going to need that million dollars insurance anyway. Most they want their they want their, they want their product covered. If you have it, I mean, wouldn't you want your product covered? Um, if you had a carrier that you don't know taking your stuff, so they're going to want that insurance to be pretty high, so they know, God forbid, if something happens to that while it's in transit, that it can be covered. And I think a million dollars will cover it. So it makes perfect sense. Most of them will not touch you. So don't try to skim on the insurance, guys. Just go ahead and get what you need. That way you can be open to more uh, brokers and, and more opportunities and more contracts, more dedicated contracts. You're welcome, AW18. AW18. That's a good one. That's the, that's the top one for right now, y'all. But it's early. It's early. <laughs> it's still early. Yeah, Darnell, definitely. You definitely just want to go ahead, go all out. You know, you know how business is. It's a sacrifice. I mean, sometimes we don't be wanting to have all that insurance, but it's nothing. I mean, you definitely want to have it. You definitely want to be covered. You got to look at it like it's life insurance. You, you want to make sure you're covered. God forbid if something does happen and make sure your family's covered. So treat your business. I would. I treat my business the same way. So, yeah, it costs a little bit more, but it's worth it. When something happens, and you know you covered, that's a great feeling. Um, so Desiree, Amazon loads are touch. Um, the DC to DC loads, those are, they can be no touch. 
Um, I remember the first time I did a DC to DC load, DC meaning distribution center, not fulfillment center. Um, fulfillment centers where you load your own load and you unload your own load at the stops. The DC to DC is a little different. Um, that freight, they don't like us to really touch that freight. Um, I've had it where they, the workers will load it for you or they'll feed it to you right there at the top of your truck and you just push the cages in or the pallets in. Um, but it's weight, the DC to DC loads are, are much easier and you're out of there in like 15 minutes. Um, opposed to the loads that you have to physically load. But again, I like the workout aspect of physically loading the truck. I really do. I, at first I was like, oh Lord, I'm tired. But you know, your body gets used to it and you do feel good. I mean, I like it. I'm, I'm just trying to look at a situation that may tire you out, but in a positive way. So I look at it like that, you know, you're still working your body while you're doing it. So I think it's great. But yeah, some of them are touched, some of them are no touch, but the majority of them are touch. You will be loading your own freight. And most of it is uh, on pallets with a pallet jack. And um, you just load your truck. Okay, Count Music. I remember that name. I booked two loads tonight by accident. I'm going to try to get the CLT9 early. Hopefully they let me. Oh, man, listen, Count Music. If you pull that thing off, you the man. Try to make that happen. Try to see if they'll let you everybody's booked two loads by accident or they get the days mixed up. Um, I did that one time, but I pulled it off. Count music, pull that thing off. You can do it. You be up there enough. You can do that. Okay, what's the max drop on the truck since they are high now? No more than 50,000. It just depends on the situation. What do you mean the max drop? On AW, what do you mean? I need you to be specific. The max drop on the truck since they are high now. The max drop of what? The cost of a truck? What are we talking about? Uh, starting off is it better to rent a lease? Again, I always state this and this will never change. It depends on your pocket. If you can, I never suggest lease. I'm just not a lease person. Again, that is just my opinion. Um, I'm not going to lease anything. I'm either going to rent it or I'm going to buy it. So um, if renting works for your pocket, then rent. But if not, um, maybe try to find an truck or pull some cash from somewhere and just buy your truck out right, outright. So either way of those things are pretty good. No, you don't need an electric pallet jack. You can, my, my pallet jack is manual. I literally press it down and I pump it. No, definitely don't need an electric one. That, that, that's bougie, Desiree. Just go and get you the manual one at first. <laughs> Cause the electric ones are way more. Okay. Oh my God, I count music. You better get that low. You better, listen. You know I pick my loads up up there in Charlotte. Stop playing for I come get that load. <laughs> for I come um, take that load from you. Yes, Darnell. Um, I only have one truck right now. Again, I told people the other day that I'm in the middle of negotiating getting my other truck, getting that together. Once I get all that together, I'm going to show you guys all of that. Um, and yes, I, mean, I really wouldn't even call it dispatching because my driver, we just sit down, we talk about what loads he likes to do. And we do them. That's it. Um, he really likes this load that stops. And the last stop is Colfax, North Carolina. And I was lucky enough to get him all five loads every day next week. And he's like losing his mind. He's excited. So um, we got him on the same load every day next week. It's crazy. But he's he's psyched when he sold on his phone. And Desiree, you can set up a consult. I'll put the um, it's in the description, actually. You could, the, um, it's in a description where you can set up um, a 30 minute console. And I also have a 60 minute console. So you can set that up in my calendar and my availability and everything is there. Um, I may open up my calendar tomorrow for a little bit or maybe Sunday because a lot of people seem to be um, pretty open on Sunday, maybe after church. But I set mine up usually when I'm done with church. And then it's usually from like four o'clock to seven. Again, maybe. I don't know. Um, I know I did that the Sunday before I left for Puerto Rico. So it worked out because I wanted to take care of some people before I left. Um, AW, I don't know. It depends on what kind of truck you're looking for, man. These trucks are like really overpriced now. So you got to shop around, drive in a country, look in a paper, everywhere. I mean, listen, I wish I was the one that made the box trucks because I'd be filthy rich right now <laughs> because box trucks are so scarce. 
um, people are really looking everywhere for them. Yeah, I count music, I see them around 30. And I remember a couple of years ago, they were like 15, 16, the same truck. It's crazy. Yeah, Clint, when I when I go to the board, you can start putting your request in. Uh, thanks, how I'm looking for a position myself to hire a driver and dispatch them, or like you said, find routes that suit them. Yeah, I like to involve my driver in the loads that he runs at night because um, if, first of all, you're including in him, including him in something that he's going to be doing daily. You know, I, I don't want my drivers to feel like they have no say because they're the ones out there. He's the one out there doing the load. So I'll ask him if we do a load that we never really did before. He'll say, you know, I really like the Ashboro load. Or I like the Colfax load. So I'm always making note of that. And then when I see that load, I book him on it. And then that gives him a way of forming a rapport with where he's delivering to, which is the post office. And um, they know him by name now because he's always doing that load. So that's really, really good. I think that's always good because he's building a positive business relationship. So really talk to your driver and say, how did you feel about that load? Because it's one um, delivery I did and I just didn't want to do it anymore because I felt like backing in the dock was so, so tight. And let me tell you something, I'm from Jersey, I got wheel. <laughs> But that thing was tight, y'all. And I was like, you know what? I, I don't want to do it because I felt like I was even going to, I don't know, hit the building. And then the uh, employees' cars were so close. I'm like, you can't even whip this thing. So it really took me some time to get in there. So I, I wasn't feeling that. So just make sure you talk to your driver and just say, hey, how did you feel about that load? How did that go? How were the people? Because you don't, you know, you don't want to keep sending your driver to a place where there's maybe a nasty employee, you know, and, you know, then they banned us from there. And then you never know. They tell Amazon, you just don't want no problem. So talk to your driver about which ones he likes to do more. That way you know how to book for him and you know how to um, plan for him for his week. Okay. Yeah, a lot, lot of the trucks got a lot of, a lot of mileage. Yeah, definitely need a mechanic. Um, my driver gets paid an hourly wage of $16. Um, that's what we decided on because my driver does other things because he only works about five, six hours. So after he is done about 7, 38 in the morning, he does Uber Eats. My driver does DoorDash. He killing him. He just, he's all things driver. <laughs> so he does a lot of different things. Um, uh, also with his family. So he loves the fact that he's just doing these quick loads at night. Uh, creating another stream of income for himself. So um, that's what I pay my driver. Some people pay him by the day. Demetrius does it different, but that's Georgia. I'm in North Carolina. I'm doing what's best for our flow here and what works for him. So that's the number that we came up with. And of course, he'll get a raise um, as I bring another driver. And when I get this other truck, I'm actually going to uh, promote him to train that driver because I'm totally kind of off hands when it comes to my, my trucking business because all I'm doing is making sure my expenses are paid and together and watching my books and that's it. So everything else is really smoothly running itself and it's consistent. Driver, I hire all the paperwork that's needed for the driver. Well, I mean, you do the basic thing um, as if you're hiring anybody, um, I had him fill out a full application because you kind of want to have that on file. Um, my driver had his medical card, so well he went and did that. And then I did a drug test for my driver. Um, it's up to you. You don't have to. It's up to you. Um, and then we added him to my insurance. So the physical is really a DOT physical. That's not something you need to be there for. He just needs to go and get the medical card. But where he goes, they'll give him a physical. And a lot of times you'll have to pay for that. I pay for that. It was like $85 for the driver. Um, so I paid for that. And then I get the results, everything. And then I know his DOT car was issued. And he leaves that inside the truck. So we don't have to worry about him ever losing that. Or they can put it in their wallet. I just always say leave it in the truck. It makes sense. No, I don't stop the time when he gets out the truck. Um, when, from the moment he picks up the truck to the moment he parks it back where we park it, that's when his time stops. And that's always usually five to six hours. That's it. Hey, oh Lord, y'all, Antonio is here. <laughs> Antonio, listen, when I go on this low board, 
you done asked me about every city in Texas. I'm going to be watching you. Two requests from you. That's it. <laughs> Y'all tell Antonio do not hog the request. Um, got my, okay, look. Okay, so Antonio said he did the NC file, got my LLC yesterday, did not, uh, did DOT fiscal and apply for my MC. Go, you go ahead, Antonio. Good for you. Um, came to win. I like that name. I do not know if you need to purchase a certificate of fact. What is that? Is that a business license? I'm not really sure because Texas is a different state. You know, they do what they want to do. Texas reminds me of Georgia. They got different rules for business and stuff like that. They're not really standard. So um, you got to be a little bit more specific and you're probably going to have to Google that. <laughs> uh, you're welcome, Antonio. I'm glad I can help, but I'm glad you're getting started too. This is good. This is really good. And if you got some box trucks down there in Texas, you need to let us know so we can get on some flights and buy some trucks. Because <laughs> we need them so bad. Lord, we need some trucks. All right, Looks like the questions have slowed down a little bit because I'm not going to drag this out tonight. Let's just get on the little board and see what we got. Again, Amazon dropped some yesterday. You looking in Florida for what? Uh, box trucks, Antonio? I don't think there's none down there, but keep looking. I want to look somewhere people don't never look, like Kansas, uh, Arkansas. I'm going somewhere to look. I'm going to find me one. I'm going to find me another one under the dirt. Somewhere in the country. That's why I found the one I got from. But again, don't make me talk about that, y'all. I told y'all I'm going to get it all together. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so we can get this party started. There's only about 19 people on here. It is what it is. So we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and share my... Lord, y'all know I'll be having problems with sharing the screen. Hey, Durham. To give away the secrets to there. To this here game. Don't want to cut your own pocket short. Oh, that's true, Count Music. But you know what? It's, it's not about... You know, you and people just can't keep holding the knowledge. Like, you know, I, a lot of people, I've seen videos where people just be barely touching the surface and really don't give nobody no understanding. I'm here for support and to give people understanding. That's my purpose for being into this. It's not for any other reason. My consults are, um, the, I charge those because I charge for those because my time is precious and it's important because I don't just run this business. I run other another business. So, um, but as far as the information, you know, if I have it, if I know it, I'm going to tell people anything to help them because that's what I'm in it for. That's sole purpose. So it's, it's really no such thing as giving away secrets if you're genuinely trying to help people. And that's what I'm genuinely trying to do. And it ain't no secrets to the game. It's really just about blessings and love. When you just All you got to do is ask God to order your steps. That's it. Just be like, Lord, leave me because I don't know it all. I still say that every day because I don't. Because I do not. Oh, Sanchez got the insurance in the code. All right, y'all. Now, listen, y'all remember when I tried to share the screen last time, it was acting crazy. And y'all just heard my voice. And you saw the screen. That's what we're doing again. All right. All right. Now, I'm going to need people to participate with thumbs up and let me know when y'all see the screen because I still ain't figured out on StreamYard how to do this thing with me still being on the video on the side and the board. But I just, y'all need to let me know when y'all see the board, okay? Oops. What Demetrius, Shaquilla, what Demetrius talking about? Looking Cali. Demetrius can look in Cali himself, y'all. Today is Demetrius B's birthday. I want everybody to tell Demetrius B happy birthday. Today is the man's birthday. Well, y'all go on his page and um, say happy birthday to him as well. I think the man is taking the day off. Yeah, he does give great insight on finding the truck. You got to dig, let me tell you. Yeah, post the truck is where it's at. 
especially if you're in an area where there's just not a lot going on, postal truck is good. That means when it come up, boom, you booked on it. You ain't even got to think. You just go. Just make sure you're available because you cancel that low mm, performance score down. <laughs> okay, Sanchez has a question, guys, and then we're going to go on the board. Sanchez, what's up? Uh, Quint, I don't know. I mean, if you're over the road, you definitely have to abide by the regular DOT rules with the logs for the 10-hour clock. Yes, you do. If you're over the road. Amazon, too. Amazon has loads that are not just local because all I really do is local. That's what I do. Um, I don't be trying to do nothing over 105 miles, please. Well, for my driver, too, because you know me. I'm, I'm a penny pinch. I'll be looking at diesel and kind of see what we can, you know. I'm a person that likes to keep my expenses under control, especially when it comes to trucking. That's why I hate maintenance. But um, with me getting this other truck, I got to deal with maintenance. It's, it's all right, y'all. <laughs> Pray for me. Um, uh, you do not have to have a lift gate, Sanchez, for the Amazon. I suggest you do because I kept saying when I was doing the loads before I got my driver in place, I was like, man, I never use this lift gate. Like, I want this my, with my, with my rental costs be cheaper if I didn't have a lift gate. And the moment I said that, that next route that I got, it was like the post office was at like a shopping mall and I had to use the lift gate. I was like, man, I put my whole foot in my mouth. So I feel like at some point you're going to need that lift gate for Amazon because all these um, post office facilities, they all don't have a dock. Not everyone, especially when I saw that one. I think it was in Hamptonville, North Carolina. I was like, Oh my God, y'all in the strip mall. That's crazy. So um, I say get a lift gate. I mean, you could play with it for a little while. You may not have to have it for a while, but you know, you definitely don't want to be in a position where you can't get the freight off because you don't have a lift gate or they don't have a dock. Uh, hey, Roger, um, anything is possible. Roger's question said, um, do you think it's possible to make a living doing box truck at Amazon out of Louisiana? Uh, we know Louisiana is a tough state as well as far as Amazon is concerned, but this is the thing, guys. It's really not. Jeff Bezos was putting like three facilities down in Louisiana. In a minute, Louisiana won't be a hot spot. For real. It's going to be popping. So, yes, I just don't want you to put all your eggs in an Amazon basket we look on the Amazon board because that's what I got access to, guys. Can I look on the dash? Sure. I'm not going to because that's not what I'm doing. Um, it works for me and my lifestyle because I'm not trying to, like, be over the road. I don't want my driver over the road either. Not now. So don't just think if it's slow Amazon in your area that you stay motivated and go after other accounts, other contracts in your area. So Louisiana has a need. Florida has a need. Everybody has a need. So um, don't just obsess yourself with Amazon. Don't do that. I'm just doing that because that's what works for me. But you, but if your state is just now opening up facilities like Louisiana and they're expanding in that area, your time will come. But in the meantime, in between time, use this to figure out a way to get more freight, to get more contracts. Go old school, y'all. Walk into these warehouses. Walk in here and try to get meetings with people and say, hey, listen, I run a small box truck business. Is there anything I can assist you with? Go to furniture companies. You'd be surprised. A lot of times, these furniture places, they outsource um, with just regular people. Why not you get that contract? You know, and it's local, your home. So um, y'all really got to put y'all sales thing on because trucking is really about sales. It really is because you're trying to become the carrier for that business. So you got to open your mouth. Closed mouths don't get fed. I know y'all seen that on, uh, what's that movie? Uh, Plays Club. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that girl was terrible. Talking about closed mouths don't get fed. But yeah, y'all got to open your mouth. Y'all sales, y'all selling your trucking business. So if you want a dedicated account, it's, what you think is going to fall on your lap? No, you got to go after that thing. Go after it and don't just always think, oh, Amazon, Amazon. Amazon is great if your state is popping. Great. Do both. You know what I'm saying? Do both. So it's nothing like a contract. Please don't get it twisted. No, because guess what? If they be like, well, we ain't got the free for that contract, say they still got to pay you. Always remember that. You don't have a contract with Amazon. You work with them. You don't work for them. 
Remember that. A lot of people be like, oh, what if I do? Okay, Amazon's not your boss. You can walk away from that anytime. You work with them. You're independent. You, you don't work for them. You can stop at any time. No one's forcing you. But I'm just saying, keep all options open. Always look for businesses that are in your local area that may need your assistance. You mess around, get a contract. You sit. So I want y'all to think about that. Stop just, you know, putting all your eggs in these in the Amazon basket because it's not popping for everybody in their state. It's not. And that North Carolina is, is pretty good. You know, Georgia's good. There's a lot of states that's good, but the facilities that are slow right now where they're building up in Louisiana, you guys got to wait. So what you want to do? Not get money, be broke. Um, just keep paying expenses on the truck, the note, the insurance, not going after accounts, go after other accounts. There's other stuff out there and let and just fill in the Amazon. Let Amazon be the fill in, but always try to go after a major account yourself. There's nothing like a contract. Nothing's better than that because you're locked in. It's commitment. Oh, awesome, Desiree. Thank you so much. I look forward to speaking with you. All right. Oh, Sanchez, what state are you in where budget said you only could do two mi 200 miles a day? Please tell me what state that is. Hey, now we got an authority apply for Amazon. Go, Alexis. Go, Alexis. Those are my girls right there. Yes, God is good all the time. Oh, my goodness. My fingers are crossed. Alexis, when y'all apply for Amazon, did you do it with Nicole? Did she walk you through it or did y'all do it? All right, let me see what I could do about this share, y'all. Oh, wait, I think I might have did something right. I might have did something right. Oh, hold on. Of course, listen. Oh, y'all did it yesterday? Oh, yeah, you'll be calling me tomorrow. Maybe Monday you'll hear from them. Or I, mean, I don't know if they do, they give things over the weekend. Tell me what y'all see in the screen, like the vortex. <laughs> I need somebody to talk to me. Tell me what they see in that screen. D. Harris just picked up two trucks a month ago. We were approved for Emily. Oh my God, Ohio popping, um, Harrison. Harris, yesterday, nervous and excited. Appreciate your help. Listen, do it while you're nervous. Do it while you're scared. Do it while you're <laughs> Okay, y'all get y'all truck. Vortex, Alexa said Vortex. <laughs> All right, so again, guys, we're going to have to do like what we did before. I'm going to, I forgot what I did. Let me see. All right, we're going to pull the load board up. Give me one moment, y'all. All right, load board. I really should have did the Zoom. That probably would have been better, but... It is what it is. All right, can y'all see? Tell me what everybody, somebody, Alexis, tell me what you see, Alexis. Okay, Alexis said, big blue locker room, give me a minute, okay? Alexis truck. From where? Hold on. I think they rented Big Blue. Big Blue, give me a minute. You're just coming in. We're trying to get this board together. I don't want to ignore anybody's questions. Okay, let's see. Anybody see a double screen? Can somebody tell me what they see? Okay, so y'all see the Amazon screen, right? Oh, you in Atlanta. Oh, that might be there. Yeah. I don't know why budget tripping in Atlanta. Can't do no, what, what kind of work can you do 200 miles? That's crazy. I'm not saying it's impossible, but that's just, that's really, really tight. All right, so y'all see that board. I'm trying to, I forgot how I did it last time. Let me see, guys. Is that that? Oh, San Sanchez. Is, wait, didn't you just... Oh, no, the other one says 200. I don't know. I don't know what y'all going to do about budget. All right, can somebody tell me if they... Oh, that's right. Somebody was like, pull it up on your phone. 
Pull up the comments on your phone. I forgot what girl said that. <laughs> Give me one second, y'all. I'm going to pull up the comments on the phone so y'all can see what I'm doing. Give me one second, y'all. I'm going to pull up the comments on the phone so y'all can see what I'm doing. It's delayed. Okay, y'all. So, live chat. Give me one second, y'all. I'm going to pull up the comments on the phone so y'all can see what I'm doing. It's delayed. Okay, y'all. So, y'all can hear me talking. All right, let me mute that. All right, so y'all can see me on video. So I'm delayed maybe a couple of seconds, but somebody give me a thumbs up. Tell me if you can see the board. Yes, Sanchez, I still got my Enterprise truck, but I'm going to be turning that thing in probably in the next week. Um, Sasha, I set up my LLC myself with incfile.com. I'll put that in the comments for you in a minute, okay, honey? <clears throat> Alexis, I know you in Jersey. Oh, you might be talking to somebody else. <laughs> Can somebody tell me what they see? Do they see the low board? Yeah, I must don't want to see no lows. I need somebody to tell me if they see the low board. We'll start when y'all tell me y'all see the low board. <laughs> Devin, thank God. Devin, th them thumbs up. Is that the low board? Did that mean you see the low board? Yes or no? I need somebody to type, yes, we see the low board. Whenever you're all ready. Thank you. All right, let's get it started, y'all. All right, like I said, I need a city and a state. City and a state. If anybody gives me just a state, I will not acknowledge that. I need a city and a state. Well, let's do Concord. Let's see where I'm at right here. This is my hub right here. I got saved searches right here, guys. So it's only five loads in my area right now. But again, last night, it was popping. It was definitely popping last night. So it was... Uh, it was a lot of loads out here last night, so most of them are booked up, early access, snatch whatever they was going to snatch. All right, so first city I see, of course, is Alexis. We're going to do Trenton, New Jersey. All right, so Trenton, we got 56 loads, Alexis, 56. All right. So Big Blue is asking about Las Vegas, Nevada. Well, look at these rates. Them rates is pretty decent, too. Low miles. Look at that. Low miles. Um. Las Vegas, Nevada, that's Big Blue asking for that. Big Blue, we got nothing in Vegas, crickets, nothing in Vegas. V-A-C-A-V-I-L-L-E, California, wait, I'm spelling that wrong. Hold on, I got my wrong hands on the thing, y'all. V-A-C-A-V-I-L-L-E, California. All right, in that area, we got five loads, guys. Five lows, most coming out of Stockton. All right, so where are we now? Atlanta. Atlanta has nine lows right now. Again, Atlanta probably was flooded yesterday, guys, but it is what it is. People snatching up these lows Thursday night, late night, because I know I was up waiting for the low board to fill up. All right, so McAllen, Texas. nothing in that area. What's the next major city by you, Quint? That might be better. Let's do Akron, Ohio. Akron got 71 loads, Harris. D. Harris, Akron got 71. Yeah, that's that's looking real nice. I keep saying I'm going to take my butt to Ohio. I'm telling you, Ohio been, Ohio been doing all right. Let's see, Cleveland. Cleveland got 41, 41. So 71 in Akron and 41 in Cleveland. Okay. All right, let's see what else we got. We got Fresno, California. 
Fresno has 39 loads. That's not bad. Fresno, California, 39 loads, guys. 39. Let's go do Camden. Camden got 57 loads. 57, Dom. Stop playing. <laughs> 57 loads. That's not bad on on a Friday, you know what I mean? But most of the lows probably dropped yesterday, so we got 57 lows right now. All right, so what else we got? Patterson, California. Hmm, I don't see a Patterson, California. Oh, here it is. Patterson has five lows. Patterson, California, five lows. Lee Jones, Miami. Miami's always a tough one. Let's see if Miami got something for us, y'all. Nah, Miami's crickets. Hopefully, they'll be building some more facilities down that way, but Miami is zero, guys. Laredo. You're welcome, Harris. Laredo, we got zero. Zero in Laredo. Let's check Phoenix. Nah, nothing. Phoenix, I guess this is one load coming out of Tucson. This is it. That's all we got in Phoenix, guys. Oh, uh, now they're talking about that Baltimore. I'd be going crazy when they be asked about that Baltimore. Was Baltimore be going, well, okay, well, we only had 21. That's not horrible. But Baltimore, we only got 21 right now. 21. Miss um, Bernardi. I think I said Lori. I might have said your name wrong. I'm very sorry. But um, we got 21 in Baltimore. Rate's not that bad. These are very low mile lows. That's not bad at all. So we got Baltimore. Where else are we at? All right, that's the last one I saw. Anybody else got anyone? Uh, let's check Philly, y'all. I know nobody requested Philly, but let's look at Philly. Philly got 57. And another thing, Cam, Alexis, all y'all down in that Jersey area, um, you could put all different type of hubs in. You could put Trenton in. You could put uh, Philly in. You could put all different kinds because where you're located, you could pick up at different hubs. So this is coming out of Jersey, but it's going there. So 57 lows, that's not bad for the Philadelphia area as well. And, and the Jersey, when I pulled up Camden, that kind of matched it. Quinn, don't give up. I already told you, most of them snatched it up. Snatched it up yesterday, so. No, I didn't check Tampa yet, Elizabeth, I got you. But uh, Oklahoma City, Antonio, zero, crickets. Tampa. And again, um, Clint, as I stated before, it's not just about Amazon. Just because you see this board clear doesn't mean that there's not other lanes and areas that you can get into. Trucking ain't going to never stop. I mean, go and get other contracts, other accounts, and just fill in with Amazon. Uh, not just do Amazon, Okay. So don't give up on the whole business just because you don't see nothing on this board. Um, I don't think nothing's coming up on Mount. There it is, Mount Pocono. Oh, we got 55 loads in that area, Desiree. 55. Yeah, Alexis, you definitely got options. I already told y'all, Jersey got day loads, night loads, like, Y'all better stop playing before I come up there and bring like four trucks and just flood y'all area. Take all the loads. <laughs> all right. So that's Mount Pocono, huh? Uh, 55. 55. Did I check Tampa for her? Let me see if I can check Tampa for Elizabeth. I mean, for, is that Elizabeth? Yes. Tampa, Florida. Okay, Tampa had none. I don't remember if I checked it already, but... Elizabeth Tampa has none right this second. Y'all let me know what else y'all got. No, you do not need a CDL, Alexandra. Not to drive a box truck. Um, I didn't look up Raleigh, but we can look it up. But I know Raleigh didn't have much. Because I looked at that earlier, and I know people were snatching all those Raleigh and Durham's yesterday, late last night. So, again, don't fret just because Raleigh's empty right now, but that's definitely a profitable area, in my opinion. 
You're welcome, Elizabeth, no problem. Claire, where you find a box truck, a 2002 for 5,000? What is it, international? It better not be. <laughs> How big is that box truck, 24, 26? Give me some details. You can't be throwing numbers out there like that and don't give us no details. We thirsty, we wanna know. <laughs> All right, anybody else got any more cities? Cities and states, cities and states. Oh, it's a Hino, a Hino 268? Oh, that's Alexis, I'm sorry, I thought that was Quint. Oh, look, Alexis asking Quint, is it a Hino, Quint? <laughs> yes, I did Baltimore, I believe Baltimore had 55, huh? Yeah, Baltimore had 55, y'all like my video. Sometimes it'd be a lot of people on here and no one likes the video. I'm gonna need y'all to stop and hit the like button like right now, for real. Baltimore is 21 right now. 21, hun. <laughs> Dom talk about I'm funny. Dom, what you doing? Dom got that CDL over there. Don't make me start looking up 53s. Who wanna see now? Look, this is the box truck channel. But if y'all want to look up 53s. We can look up track the trailers and semis if you want to. All we got to do is this right here, change that equipment. Look, 53 trailers. Look, them 53 rates, they are all right too. You see them 53 rates? We'll come back to that, y'all. Somebody done put in a request. Look, everybody like, wait a minute, let me see the 53s. Because some folks got CDLs on here. They got semis they want to play with. All right, so somebody says somewhere in Mississippi. What's that? But Holly, look, I ain't even about to try to spell that. I just hope you was. Uh, oh, there you go. Praise the Lord, you spelled it right because I was struggling. <laughs> uh, there's nothing over there in Mississippi, huh? All right, let me see. Miss, that was Mr. Raquel09. Yeah, them semis still be hidden too, Alexis. They still be hidden. New York got 69 lows. Don't be sleeping on the city. But look, look, Alexis, you see all this is your area. Look at that, coming out of Trenton. Look at that. It pulled from your hub within a 100-mile radius. Look at this. You got options. 69 loads. Look, Lancaster, you could do all that. Look at that. I'm telling you, serious, 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 serious. 69 loads. Y'all got options. Y'all definitely got options. I'll call me if y'all need me some help to run a couple of them low. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm definitely going to go like Pittsburgh. Let's look at Pittsburgh. Nobody asks about Pittsburgh, but like Pittsburgh, crazy. Look at Pittsburgh. Like Pittsburgh, I mean, listen, this is the lowest I've seen in 71 loads. That's it. But Pittsburgh be having like two, 300 loads. I'm going to just go up there and squat for like a whole week, for real, and just post my truck up there. These miles ain't long at all. Pittsburgh is all right. Nice and quick, get it done. All right, what else we got, y'all? Oh, I wasn't doing Demetrius' course. Yes, his course is good. Dom, you getting your truck on the 19th? All right. Yeah, his course is good. People be thinking like they just got to sit around and Listen, but I'm telling you, he literally tell you how to walk through that um that authority. It's crazy. It's it's crazy. It's like a no brainer. All right, we got Birmingham request. Let's see what Birmingham got. Birmingham only got one low right now. One low. Oh my God! Look at that one low Birmingham. Look, my brother live in Bessemer. This thing is a oh my. Listen, we need to break this load down. Let me show y'all something. So this thing is coming out of Bessemer going right to Birmingham, which is nowhere. It's like across the street, 19 miles total, right? It's a drop. And look what it's paying per mile, $11.83. I want y'all to watch this. And the total load paying $231.94. But for 19 miles, come on, y'all. God, let's say you live in Bessemer. Look, if I, I was in Bessemer last week when I picked my kids. Man, look. I, I should have brought my dad on truck down there. Man, that's an easy load right there. Easy $231.
Pick that thing up, drop it, done. 19 miles. Man, look. Y'all playing with it. If you in Birmingham, Alabama, you got a truck, you better go get that thing. That was a good one. Good afternoon, Amir. Man, okay, look at that. 19 miles. A box truck's dream. And it's not always about, like, you know, somebody can say, oh, for team, that's only paying. Listen, man, you're going to save on fuel, everything. This is a quick load. These are the kind, everybody thinks distance means more money. That's not necessarily true. Sometimes you can go short and still kill them because you're able to do more. This is good. I like short because it's less wear and tear in your truck, especially if you own it. So I like short. All right, we're going to take two more city and states. Y'all let me know, and then we, I'm going to stop sharing the screen because I don't see nothing really popping up over here. All right, let's see what she says. BET, APAG, Long Island, okay, New York. We got 52 loads up that way. Again, it ties into Jersey. It ties into that area. Alexis, y'all flooded with all kind of options for real. Are you doing the authority tonight? Um, Alexandra, okay, can you only be doing this with Amazon? No. Once you get your authority, you can get with any broker you want. Um, it just, it's totally up to you. You can go on any board you want. But um, I will say this, just from being a, a licensed broker for 15 years, I just feel like get some age on your authority before you start messing with brokers. That's just how I feel. That's just how I feel. Um, I, I'm messing with Amazon because I want some age on my authority before I start venturing out. And as I venture out, I'll definitely let you guys know what I'm doing, but I'm never probably going to just jump on the board and be like, oh, I want this, this, and this, because I don't like the unknown. I'd rather, um, you know, have meetings and build relationships and try to get contracts and dedicated lanes, because that's really what I know. We did Philly already, Amir. I think Philly had like 57, something like that. Thank you, Desiree. We definitely need to get these likes up for real, y'all. I need my likes. Hit that like button. Hit that like. <laughs> um, Elizabeth, I think they post, they actually post, I believe, every Thursday. No, there's no particular time. Amazon, do what they want to do. They do exactly what they want to do. All right, we'll check Chicago and then we check it out. Yeah, they post when they want to post. All right, so Chicago, wow, 139 loads. Oh, my God. Oh, y'all can make me go to Chi-Town. Yo, they got 139 loads still on Friday. It's a lot of work up there. If y'all in Illinois, y'all better get it. Plenty to pick from. Look at this. Yeah, they do day loads as well. I'm sure as peak season starts coming in, you'll see more day loads. Um, about three weeks ago, I was getting a lot of day loads. Christopher, turn that down. Y'all, he got that iPad so loud. Like, can you not hear? Bryson! Turn it down, baby. It's too loud. All right, y'all. Yeah, look at this, man. Chicago is ooh, 139. Look at this one right here that just lit up in the in the green. Look at that. They that mean when I see that green, I think they just put that on there. I've seen some loads coming in to be green like that. That means they just loaded it on there, like it just added when it refreshed. Yeah, Chicago all right, 139 loads. That ain't bad. Yeah, they definitely do day loads. I know Jersey be having a lot of day loads as well. Um, I've seen it more um normal up there. I've, I've seen it more often up there than anywhere. Where they got a lot of day loads. And if you got that and it's two of y'all, you run a day load, do a night load. Or if you're crazy like me, do a day load and a night load. Let's get it. 
I done did that too. And you know what's crazy, y'all? Like, I actually, I'm gonna stop sharing, y'all. Like, what's crazy is I actually miss being in the truck. That's crazy, right? But when my initial plan was to not be in the truck, like, when I started, I automatically said, look, I'm getting the driver. That's it. That's all. I ain't doing all that. And um, But when my back was against the wall and I had to jump in that truck, I was like, you know what? I like this. <laughs> Telling you. I, I enjoy it. You know, it's peaceful. You're driving through the night. You're getting your load. You look, man, look. Easy peasy. In and out. I, I enjoyed it. And I miss it every once in a while. So every time I'm always fishing for a day load so I can just jump in the truck. <laughs> every once in a while I'm fishing for a day load to jump in the truck, y'all. All right, I'm going to take a few more questions and then I'm going to hop off here, y'all. I know, I do. I really, like... Like um, yesterday, I jumped in there and I went and got some diesel for it. And man, I was whipping that thing. I love that. And I just miss doing the short videos for y'all when I'm in there. I actually booked some uh, loads for me next weekend. Um, and I was trying to look for one for this Sunday, for like Sunday evening or something like that, or even tomorrow evening. But nothing's popped up. But I'm sure somebody's going to fall off and I'm going to snatch that thing up. <laughs> Um, I am still renting my truck, but um, I will be turning in my Amazon, I meant my Amazon, my Enterprise truck really soon here because I did, I am in the middle of purchasing the truck. Um, so we'll see. And I'll let you guys know and I'll let you guys see once I get it. Yes, I'm renting my truck right now. Yeah, I'm definitely renting my truck right now. And it's worked good for me because I don't like maintenance. But um as you grow and scale in this business, it's just something I'm gonna have to deal with. And I mean, I feel like as long as you set up right, you'll be all right with dealing with it. Like I found my diesel mechanic, I found the shop I wanted to go to. So as long as you got that that team, that support in place, God forbid something goes wrong with your truck, you know, I found a tire place, you know, cause at some point you're gonna need tires, things like that. So I'm just really um, detailed like that. Cause I wanna, I wanna know where I'm gonna go and I already kind of know where the prices are. So. I wanted to get all that stuff together and I don't invest in anything that I don't, you know, teeter at first a little bit. So that's why I took the truck, truck, you know, the, the rental route first, just to see what it's looking like. I mean, some people just buy the truck. Demetrius just bought his truck and was like, yo, I'm jumping out the window. It is what it is. But he found success because he kept pushing. So if you got the money to buy your truck, go ahead and buy it. I'm just telling y'all what worked for me and my lifestyle and the fact that I am a single mom. And, um, and I do run a, a credit business. So I had to make sure that my time was used wisely and I did not want to dedicate a lot of time to figuring out why the truck ain't working. This, I didn't want them called. So not right now. But now that things are flowing, um, I'm definitely getting into owning a piece of this equipment because at the end of the day, you really got an asset. Um, even if I owned it, even when I own this truck, if I wanted to sell this truck, I could say right here on this live, hey, y'all, I'm selling a box truck. Y'all will lose y'all mind. I probably have about 40 buyers. <laughs> so I know I got me a quick come up. If I need to sell my truck, I know I can sell it. So you have to think about it like that, too, also when you're investing um, in this business. So just try to keep your money aside. Make sure your credit is good. Something to fall back on to keep you sustained so your business doesn't go under. I've watched a lot of drivers um, when I was in logistics. Um, one one breakdown will put them out of business um, because they didn't plan or they didn't put aside anything for their maintenance account. So just make sure you guys have a credit card, a credit card or something to, to bail you out if you need something fixed on a truck or if you need a part. Um, really think it through. Don't take this thing paycheck to paycheck. It's one thing about trucking. It'll bleed you. So just make sure your, your credit is good. Your business credit is at least being built or decent. And if you have a problem with any of that, Holla at your girl. Y'all know to call me. Um, thank you. Thank you, Jay Honda. Yep. Mine is a Hino as well. I did Chicago already, and y'all are killing him in Chicago. Somebody tell him how many little Chicago had, please. 
Nafia Israel. Somebody, Chicago got a lot of loads. I know that. And you better go get a truck. <laughs> a lot. I did Bethel, um, Long Island. They did, they had a lot too. Um, I don't, I don't know what you mean live or live drop. I believe that's the same thing. Um, I think that more pertains to uh, the 53s because, you know, we live unload when it comes to um, when it comes to the box trucks. We're, we're unloading them at the dock at the post office. That's more of a live unload. It's not really a drop. A drop is when you're not even opening up the back of that trailer or that truck. So a drop is more more drop and hook type of thing. That's more for the semis. Um, did you have to have a business credit score with Dunn's to rent from Enterprise? No. Enterprise doesn't care anything about that. Nope. Yes, Lee Jones, I build business credit as well. Yes, I do. Fuel cards, uh, net 30 accounts, making sure your business is um, fundable. Because a lot of people, um, please don't get a Google Voice for your business, guys. Do you like a Ring Central? Um, what else? Vonage. What's the other one? Grasshopper. Make sure you guys have a separate business phone number for your business. Um, and also make sure you list your business with um, listyourself.com or listmybusiness.com. Um, Google that and also make sure you have a Google My Business set up. It doesn't matter. You don't have to have a website. You don't have to have a fax number and all that. But when um, you can't be traced, when your business can't be traced, why would a bank or a finance company give you money? So make sure you're listed. Make sure your business is listed, not yourself, your business. So Google My Business. People want to say, oh, what's your business name? ABC Trucking. And they Google it, which everybody does. And they can't find it. So make sure you set up a Google My Business account. It's absolutely free as far as business credit is concerned. But um, if anybody want to talk to me about business credit, definitely um, uh, reach out to my company, Next Level Credit Solutions. I charge a flat fee of $1,500 for business credit, which is pretty cheap because a lot of people are charging 25 and up. Um, and I do the whole setup. I have had some uh, people that are mentoring on here um, I set up their total profile so they're fundable. When they want to get another truck, they don't have to worry about running their personal credit. So, um, and I had a great teacher, a great teacher um, that taught me a lot about uh, business credit. His name is Ty Crandall. He is also on YouTube, guys. He's out of Florida. Um, and I'm giving up that information. I mean, people might say, Fatima, I could have paid you for $1,500. And I'm going to call Ty and listen to all his information. Do what you do. It doesn't matter. It's not about the money for me. I'm just trying to give y'all the information that I got um, and that's here and that you can learn on your own. Always try to get the learning curve from something. Don't always um, say, oh, I'm just pay somebody to do it. That's cool. But make sure you're paying it. You're listening to the person as they're setting it up for you. So you're learning something because you can take that skill set and teach somebody else and charge. So that's another stream of income. Um, and I got quite a few, so we can talk about streams of income another day. If you guys really want to talk about that and ways to have streams of income with the trucking business, um, drop those comments on this video as well. Um, and we can talk about other streams of income you can have with this business or maybe another existing business that you have. But one thing the pandemic should have taught everybody is how to make money sitting right in their chair at the house, because there's plenty of ways to make it. So you just got to get your mind together and figure out what your niche is and what you enjoy doing. So, and, and I just enjoy pouring into people, giving them information that they feel like nobody would help them get or they couldn't find it or they didn't know how to process it or nobody put it into simple terms for them to understand. That's why I take my time on my consoles because I want everybody to understand. And they always run over 30 minutes, always, because I'm never going to get off. I'm never going to be like, oh, uh, you know, I want, I don't want anybody confused, period. I want everybody to understand. Good, Amir, you got to Google my business, first link, post your business, yes. Um, I'm going to actually look for that for you guys right now, and I'm going to put those links in here. Give me a second.
Everybody should know what the Google My Business is. And I'm gonna put the list yourself 411 link in here. Uh, give me a second, here it is. I'm gonna copy that. This, let's see. All right, here is that link, guys. That's your list yourself. Oh my God, Alexis, no. Don't start with that, me teach you how to be a broker. Don't start, no. <laughs> Amir, there's the link right there. You better grab it. Um, Lee Jones, just book a console with me and reference to the business credit. Um, and the 1500 is um, something I can split into two payments. It doesn't have to be one full payment. Of course, I prefer that, but it could be split into two payments. I'll work with everybody as far as that. Um, Alexis, they try to get somebody to be a broker. Okay, so I told you guys about it. And also, I want to tell you guys, since we're talking about business credit, see, y'all start talking about business credit, I get excited. Um, you want to be able to look at your business credit reports again business credit reports. And the way you look at that is from a website called NAV. Um, now, NAV is absolutely free, but they have um, different programs. And I always suggest people to sign up for the Business Boost. Now, you may hear otherwise, um, but I like Business Boost because business credit is all about trade lines. You want to make sure you got trade lines because that's how it looks. Um, and the Business Boost is $39 a month. I love it because it gives you a trade line. They report every single month. They're doing the reporting. So, um, and I always start off with net 30 accounts like Uline, um, Granger, Quill, stuff like that. So, again, if you want more information about the business credit, please reach out to me and we'll set up a time to go over that. Um, don't try to get me to tell you everything on the console because that's a service that takes a lot of my time and I definitely need to be paid for that. So if you're serious about getting the business credit set up, reach out to me. If you're not, don't call me. <laughs> because um, the business credit takes time. It definitely takes time. And I, and I pour a lot into that. All right, so Google my business, list yourself. Yeah, because guys, get a get a separate phone number and don't don't just use your your cell number for your business. I mean, you can, but you think Wells Fargo, a bank is going to give you money if they can't, you know, everybody doesn't have a brick and mortar. Everybody doesn't have an office and that's fine. You can use your home office, but have a separate phone number because they want to know that you're serious, you know? So make sure that you have a separate phone number for your business. It looks good. And then like all these other companies, like, you know, a lot of times people are not getting funded because they're not fundable. Their business is not fundable because it's not traceable. So be traceable. OK, just like when you go for a personal loan and they run your personal credit, they can find you. They can see your reports. They can see what you've done. They can see your credit character. They want to see the same thing in your business. You're asking for thousands of dollars. Why would they give that to you if they can't find you, if they can't find your business? So think about it like that. Think about it when it. And like common sense, it's common sense. The same way you go about establishing a loan for your personal side, you have to establish your business the same way. And it, it just helps you. It helps you get more funding and help you get more loans. And you won't get no's. People have gotten no's for simply not having a phone number separate for their business. And that's pretty sad. So don't make that mistake. All right, we got a few more questions and we're going to sign off here because it's Friday, guys. I'm ready to sit down. I mean, even though I'm sitting down, but I'm ready to go home. <laughs> but I wanted to get on here and um, and I got so many more videos to share with you guys. I want to talk about that. I want to talk about the dump truck stuff. Um, I want to talk about that compliance call again, which was really simple. Um, he basically just registered me. Um, for the FMC, the DOT compliance people, they have 18 months to reach out to me, but they know they have me registered that I responded to the phone call and everything. Um, and it was pretty simple. It was really simple. So um, the guy just took the information and verified some stuff. The business, if you go on NAV and look under the plans, you'll see what the business boost is. Everything is entailed in there. Everything is entailed in the business boost. It's just what it says. 
business boost. It'll give you an additional trade line on your business credit. And it's all about trade lines when it comes to business credit. The more you have, the more, the more things you'll have offered to you as far as your business. So go in there, do your research, look under business boost. There's the website right here in the app, and it'll break down everything that comes with the business boost. Anything else, guys? No, Amazon doesn't call anybody. It's email. It'll only be, Alexa, Alexis, you just applied. Stop. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Listen, you sound like me when I applied because people were like, oh, I got to an answer in an hour. I got to an answer in a 24. Man, I was losing my mind. Listen, you're going to get it. Don't worry. You're going to get the email. You're good. And when you do, you'll text me, I'm sure. <laughs> um, is the authority need for box truck driving right away? You, you can't drive the box truck or operate it without an authority. Okay, let me just explain to you guys how important this authority is and what it is. FMCSA is the government agency that governs the safety of the roadways, the highways, the streets. It is their job to put you through a 21-day vetting period to make sure you are authority worthy. Um, of course, they check your driving record, things like that. Guys, this is a privilege. It is not a right. It's just like a driver's license. It's, that authority gives you the right to operate dangerous equipment that can hurt someone. You understand? So this authority is very, very serious. You have to have that. You just can't jump in a truck. You're not just moving out of your house and having a truck a few hours. This is serious. They govern the streets. They govern the highways. So they're going to make sure that you're a person that's deemed worthy of having an authority in an MC, which is a motor carrier. Okay. So that USDOT, take it seriously because they will snatch it from you. So yes, you have to have that to operate medium equipment or heavy equipment. That's anything that's over 26,000 pounds or higher. You must have it. You don't need it for a Sprinter van or a cargo van, I don't believe, but anything is the weight class that makes it that you have. They, they govern the safety of these roads. So, and the people that are on the road, you're operating a big truck. So they're gonna, it's definitely necessary. And, and, and do your research on the FMCSA. Like this, this business is not a game. Research uh, this agency that is giving you the, the privilege to operate. They're very serious. And so is DOT. So make sure you guys comply. I've seen drivers, um, semi-drivers with CDO, driver's license, not keep the logs they're supposed to. You know, that was before electronic logs was in. They was doing paper logs. They had like a log book under the seat. Then the log book, they showed it to you. Like, they're not playing out here. Like, people are getting, people are dying. So, you know, you got to make sure that those hours and everything is right. DOT will shut you down. They are like the feds for the highways. <laughs> Just know. So anybody with an authority, they are, they're on you. They're definitely on you. And anything they ask you for, just just comply. Because they'll snatch it. They'll definitely snatch it from you and make it very hard to get it back. It's not easy. Oh, Elizabeth, for real. What did Amazon call you for? This is a first. Was it ROC that called you? Are you are you a are you an Amazon preferred carrier now? Stop blowing that whistle! No, I'm talking to you, Coda. Stop blowing that whistle, please. I'm dying to know who called and what did they say? Elizabeth, we're all waiting. <laughs> the only time Amazon has ever called me is when my driver was late. And 
that was ROC. I forgot what the department, but anyway, they called and was like, you know, what's his ETA? That was it. And that was just a facility that called. So I'm really interested to know, Elizabeth. Okay, so Elizabeth said, Amazon called to verify her email and other information. Did you uh, make a mistake and put your email information in wrong? Because usually they would email you and say, well, if you put your email in wrong, obviously they have no choice but the call. But um, we need you to be real specific because like we're all like our eyes are wide open because people are like, will they call me? Will they call me? So I'm assuming that when you applied, you must have, did you make an error on the application that that's probably why they had to call you? She said she was answering every scam like we call. <laughs> Waiting patiently. Oh my God, Elizabeth just got the approval email, y'all, while watching. After they very, look at that. Go, Elizabeth. Go, Elizabeth. That is so exciting. Everybody say congratulations, Elizabeth. Everybody say it. <laughs> Congrats, Elizabeth. Oh, my God. Wait, when did they call you? Did they call you early? So I guess they was verifying. And then it was like, you know what? She's good. Press the button. That's so exciting. Shaquille, yes. Everybody applies for the authority. Some people have a truck that they just was like, look, I'm going to buy my truck and then I'll do everything later. But yes, you can still apply for you. Most people apply for the authority and they don't have a truck yet. The authority is something completely different. It, it, it does go with your truck, but the authority is you getting permission to drive that big truck. That's what it's about. Oh, girl, I don't know why. I'm, listen, everybody, there's hope. Amazon calls. <laughs> but congratulations again. That's so good. I know you're ready to go. Girl, go on in, book a load and go. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Yes, Lori, we need to get us. What's that? Lori got the wine bottle right there. <laughs> Look, now, see, Elizabeth, you got Alexis crazy now. She goes, well, we'll be waiting by the phone and my laptop. <laughs> oh, I remember I seen the email and it was, I was on my, and I was like, just on my phone. And then I had the email alert and I was like, oh my God, I was so excited. I was so, so excited. But congratulations. I want everybody to stay encouraged. I'm going to try to talk to y'all as much as I can. I'm definitely going to do a live once a week, either Thursday or Friday. Um, I may have to go live like I did that time, like midnight. It was crazy that Sunday. I may have to do it right around the time the loads start coming in just so people can know how the loads can come in and they can be flooded. Because I really want you to see that abundance of loads when they do drop them. Um, yeah, I, I definitely want you guys to see that. Of course, some loads are more flooded than others, but it is what it is. So um, I'll definitely be doing a live once a week, maybe twice a week. I don't know. But I want to talk about different subjects and things like that and break down different stuff. And I'm still going to be going over my entire process um, from the beginning till now and what I'm transitioning into. I'm also still going to be talking about those box trucks. I meant those uh, dump trucks, y'all. Listen. I'm about to get the knowledge on that. Them dump, them dump trucks is the truth, but I believe you need a class B license or an A, of course, but a B um, to operate like a bus or something like that. I think you need a B for dump trucks, but the contracts are so lucrative. So I'm very interested to um, get that knowledge and share that with you guys. So you can continue adding on to your fleet. It doesn't have to always be box trucks. You guys can do box trucks, a semi, then a dump truck. Well, we can get it. We just trucks, etc. <laughs> so, um, you guys just broaden your horizons and don't stop. Don't quit. If you feel like you want to quit, please call me. Somebody call me and just be like, "Look, for team, I'm on the edge. Please talk to me. Don't talk. Don't talk, talk me out of quitting. I'll do it because I put the batteries in the back." <laughs> but um. You guys are going to get anxiety, and I talk about it all the time. You're going to be scared. 
definitely going to be scared. You're going to be like, oh, my God, all this money. I'm going crazy. I could be doing this. I, listen, depends on what you want to do for the future. It depends on what you're trying to build. Yep, I'm trying to build generational wealth. I am building generational wealth for my children, period. That's it. And I'm just not going to stop. Nope, ever. You know my daughter want me to open up an ice cream truck business for her, and I'm literally looking into it. <laughs> I'm looking for like a little van, you know, we're going to get it wrapped with all the, so we're doing a business plan for that. 10 years old, y'all, she looking for, she want to do an ice cream truck business. I told her, let's do ice cream and snacks. So, but it's a big market for that. So I'll let y'all know how that goes too. And um, we'll definitely keep you posted on that. But um, young entrepreneurs, y'all, teach them early. Teach them early how to get their own money, how to earn their own dollar organically. That's right. Ain't nothing wrong with punching a clock, but I ain't doing it. Nope. Because <laughs> when I was working, all I could see is that paycheck. You can't see past that dollar amount. That's it. But when you're working for yourself, it's like, you know, it's days that you may not make any money, but it's days you make you might make a lot of money. So just keep that in mind, guys. Um, when you put forth all the effort and you earn for yourself, that's to me, that's the American way, and that's the way we're gonna do it. Because I'm giving all the black girl magic I could give over here. Yes, babe, I'm still alive. I'm gonna get off in a minute. But um, I'm proud of each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys so much for the consults. Um, of course, I will let, no, I do not have a plug, JD, for Enterprise. Just call them. <laughs> there is no plug. Um, Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. I try to drop as many nuggets as I can and keep the energy and level high and believe in yourselves, guys. I get people that never believe in yourself. They, like, I know the feeling you're getting in your stomach. What? Listen, I got two kids. You think I ain't, I, was, I ain't gonna spend this money? But I'm telling you, probably the best thing I ever did, for real. And when you do one business, you just start being so creative. You be like, oh God, that's a business. That's the business. And then you start pulling extra streams of income from the one business. It's just so much. Y'all don't know how creative y'all are. I'm telling you, we, we were created by the greatest creator. And you know, God, we are meant to be creative. You guys are so creative. You have no idea. It's probably things you've been doing in your life and your family for your family for years that could have been a million, multi-million dollar business. Just think, just think about it and pray about it. Y'all are so creative, so creative. And I'm proud of all y'all. What? Count music? They just canceled you? Look, now, in a way, they did you a favor. In a way, they did not. Oh, man. How they going to cancel you? But you still got the other one, right? And may, see if they canceled you in, in, in the window of time. Because don't they give you a truck order not use? Dang, that would have been good money for one day, man. Make me want to get that little. Yeah, they kind of did you a favor because if you'd have messed that up, you know, they'd have they'd, they'd, they'd stabbed you on that performance score. <laughs> <gasps> but that's all right, though. You ain't have to cancel. You still good. That's all right. But I wish much, much success for all y'all. Whether I know you or not, it doesn't matter. I wish much, 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 much success for all of y'all. For people that are doing it alone, couples, boyfriend, girlfriend, husbands. I don't care. I don't care who's doing it. I'm, I'm, y'all going to do it. I'm telling you. Y'all going to do it. Y'all going to do it. I'm very proud of y'all. But y'all hit like on my video. Stop playing. Look. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, they do do that count music. They'll cancel. Yeah, when you book too far ahead. I got one for next Saturday. Watch, they cancel it. And it's my favorite, that Kernersville to Charlotte. I love that little. It's DC to DC. Please. Look, the moment I get in, get a load, I'm going a, I'm to a be straight filming so y'all can see whatever y'all want to see. I'm going to be like, look, y'all, I'm back at the facility. I'm, I, I know y'all really like when I'm really out there doing the loads. And I'm really trying to show y'all as much as I can. That's what I want to show you as much as I can so you can kind of see what it's like. But I can't film inside the Amazon facility. But I can go in my truck and be like, look, look, look. But 
I'm gonna do the best I can to see if I can get as much on film as possible. Maybe I'll just go out with my driver and then it might be a little, it might be easier to do it that way, but I'm gonna get y'all some good footage for real. Get y'all some good footage, that's for sure. All right, y'all, um, any comments, any additional questions? Um, good, good, Selena, she just started with her LLC. Um, I found my driver literally by luck. It was a friend of a business associate. I got very, very lucky with my driver. So very lucky. Yeah, he wasn't a complete stranger, so I got lucky. And he loved, he loved it. So I'm telling you, Lord will put the right people around you if you just ask them to. And just let it go. Don't worry about it. Just ask him and let it go. Yep. Ask him and let it go. And he'll 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 align your steps. He surely will, Destiny. All right, guys, I'm gone. Y'all got any questions in the description? I'm going to put a couple more links in there for y'all. Um, any consults? Y'all hit me up. My schedule's open next week. I might open up Sunday, too, this Sunday after church. It all depends on what I got going on, guys, okay? All right, I'm going to talk to y'all later. God bless y'all.